Namaste, my friends, and welcome. Today's lesson is focused on doing a pelvic reset. Some of you might have heard about this pelvic reset business. It's really not that complicated, but it's focused on engaging the muscles of the pelvic floor and also all of the muscles that support the pelvis. One of those biggest muscles is the glutes, which is one of the muscles that we'll be focusing on, as well as starting to engage the perineum. Why is it important to do a pelvic reset? Because if your pelvis is at all tilted, which a lot of our pelvises are tilted, that can also put additional strain on the iliosacral joints and the musculature of the lower back. So we wanna to try to get the pelvis as aligned as possible. So where we're gonna start is on our backs. And we're just gonna begin with some very simple breathing practices. One of the things that you'll find during this practice of deep breathing and muscular engagement is that you will start to wanna to go to sleep. Don't. <laughs> Don't drift off. Anytime we do deep breathing, get the blood circulating, especially around the pelvic area, as well as doing these muscle contractions, it does induce a deep parasympathetic response, which FYI, this is a really good practice to do before you go to bed, okay? It's very simple. So what you're gonna do is just come into bridge prep just like this, allow the hands to come out to the sides if you want to, let the hands rest just below the rib cage and above the navel center and take some deep breaths there. Now, as you inhale, I want you to think about contracting your anus and then your inner sphincter. Okay, so that's the musculature inside the anus. See if you can just contract it on the inhalation. And then as you exhale, release the sphincter and release the anus. As you inhale, engage the anus and then the sphincter, also known as the rectum, and then exhale and release it. Now let's add the glutes here. So you're gonna inhale, engage the glutes, the anus, and the rectum. Unfortunately, I can't really demonstrate this too much, so you just have to feel it. <laughs> Exhale, release the rectum, and the anus, and the glutes. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, engage the glutes, the anus, and then the rectum. Don't grind your teeth as you do this. <laughs> and then exhale, release the rectum, the inner sphincter, the anus, and the glutes. Delicious. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, engage the glutes, the anus, and the sphincter. And exhale, release the sphincter, the anus, and the glutes. Beautiful. Okay, what we're gonna do now is just add this in with bridge pose. So bring the arms out to the sides because I don't want you to use your hands as you're lifting up. Have the feet a little bit wider than the hips. And then you're going to start to engage these three things and then lift up. So engage the glutes, the anus, and the sphincter as you inhale and lift up. And just hold it there for a moment. Squeeze everything, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then come back down and start to release everything. Just take a breath there. There's a lot going on as we're doing these exercises. Very nice. Engage the glutes, the anus, the sphincter. Lift up as high as you can. Squeeze everything as much as possible. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then slowly come back down. Breathe in deeply and exhale. And on the next inhale, engage the glutes, squeeze the anus, and then the rectum, and then lift up. 
and squeeze it, squeeze it. Lift up a little higher and then come on down. Take a breath in and exhale out. Good. Engage the glutes, the anus, the rectum, lift it up. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And then come on down. As you're doing these exercises, sometimes you might get the urge to want to go to the bathroom. Please pause the video and do that. Honor your body and the work that you're doing. Squeeze the anus, sorry, squeeze the glutes, the anus, and then the rectum, and then lift it up. And you might notice that you're lifting a little higher each time as you're engaging all the glutes. You're increasing the blood flow into your pelvic area. Lift up a little higher and then exhale, slowly release and come down. Let's do it one more time. Engage the glutes, the anus and the rectum and then lift it up on inhalation. Lift it up, lift it up a little bit higher. Lift it up, squeeze, 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 and then slowly come on down. Oh, that was delicious. Bring your hands to your belly. Let the knees just come together and just pause there for a moment. Take two deep breaths. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Good, very, very, very good. Okay, so now slowly roll over to the side and I want you just to come and face me. I sometimes call this pillow talk pose. So one of the most important muscles, especially important for external rotation, but also hip stability, and actually plays a role in hip flexion is the piriformis. So you want to, this is called clamshells. You probably have done this before. I'm gonna bring your knees like this, your knees on top of each other. And then what you're gonna do is place your um, hand. So if we're rolling over to the left, you're gonna place your right hand on your right knee and you're going to apply about 10% pressure here and you're going to slowly lift that knee up as high as you can and you're going to find that there's a point where it starts to stop and that's okay you're going to hold it there you're shortening the piriformis muscle you're also putting 10% pressure onto that knee and then slowly come back down and we'll do that a couple of times this is such a great pose to activate the piriformis we also get a little bit into glute meads here so slowly lift up again pressing a little bit into the knee just to create a little bit of force at that final point see if you can push in a little bit more now be careful not to roll back you're still coming forward you're just lifting the knee up don't compensate by rolling backwards and slowly come back down do it again lift up Go to your highest point, hold it there, and then slowly back down, and come back up. Nice. And then come back down. And come back up. Nice. Just press a little bit into that hand, creating a little bit of resistance, waking up those gamma motor neurons to fire the muscles up and then slowly back down. And let's do it one more time. So you're gonna slowly come back up. Nice. Again, be careful not to lie back here. And then come back down. Very good. I'm going to flip around on my mat so you can see me. I'm not turning my back to you. 
Um, you don't have to do that, but bring your knees back to where they were. You're gonna bring your left hand this time to your left knee and then slowly lift up. Nice, and just hold it there. You guys feeling your hip rotators starting to fire up? And then slowly back down. And this is, these muscles working properly is what's gonna give you more stability in your life. Slowly come back up. Again, pressing a little bit with your hand and your knee and then very slowly come back down. Lean forward just a little bit, just a little bit. Keep your torso there and then slowly lift the knee away. This will kind of reset the pose. So you're not leaning back, giving you the illusion of quote unquote opening up more. Okay, and then slowly come back down. And then come on back up. And then slowly come back down. And come back up. There you go. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Nice. And come back down. And come back up. Lift it up a little bit higher and come back down. Delicious. All right. So what you're going to do now is come onto your stomach. And this is a And this is a fantastic way to start to build up the pelvic floor. And you may not be happy with me afterwards, so just FYI. <laughs> okay, first of all, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, and then you're gonna lift the legs up. Relax the head down, just lift the legs up, and then separate the legs as much as you can. And then exhale and squeeze the legs together. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them while you're lifting. Inhale, open up. And exhale, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze them, squeeze them. You can feel your mula bandha, your perineum activated here. Inhale, open up. And exhale, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Inhale, open up, and exhale, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Inhale, open up, and exhale, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze them, and open up one more time. Lift the legs up higher. Exhale, squeeze. Squeeze, you can also feel your lower back muscles working, your iliocostalis, and relax down. Oh my goddess, that was hard. Breathe in deeply. Exhale deeply. All right, slowly come on to your back. Bend your knees. We're gonna do two more things here to help our pelvic reset. Really uh, important muscles to activate. So the first one is to activate our psoas. You're gonna bring your left foot across your right knee and you're gonna bring your right hand now, don't lift the shoulder up to reach for the knee. You're gonna bring your hand right here and then press the knee into the hand. We'll just hold that there for four, five, six, and then relax. And do it again. Press the knee into the hand. This is actually, you can feel your psoas shortening. If you wanna find your psoas and feel it contracting, aka shortening, 
relax. Find your belly button and your pelvic bone. Come in the middle and keep your fingers moving kind of on a diagonal. Just, just rest them there and then press your knee into your hand and you'll feel the psoas pop out. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. And do it again. Do you guys feel your psoas popping out? <laughs> three, four, five, six, and relax. Do it again. Press in, two, three, four, five, six, and relax. Do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. One more time. Press the knee into the hand. Keep the right arm straight. Don't allow that elbow to bend. Just keep the arm straight. The right shoulder is on the floor. The knee is just pressing into the hand. And relax. Let's switch sides. Take the left foot down. Take the right foot across the left thigh or just below the knee or above the knee. Take the left hand towards the right knee. Again, you're not lifting that left shoulder off the ground. So just have the hand there. And then take the knee into the hand. Make sure that your left elbow is extended, that the arm is straight and holding it there for three, four, five, six, and relax. And do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. And press it in again. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. And press it in again. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. And press it in again. Two, three, four, five, six. Relax. And one more time. Just really let, let your whole body go and then press your knee into your hand. Just one last time. Can you feel that psoas engage? That's fantastic. Three, four, five, six, and relax. The legs come up straight out just for a moment. Breathe in deeply, exhale deeply. Very nice. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do one more thing. I want you to bring your legs together, but turn your toes out to the sides like a ballerina, like a plie, and you're gonna lift the legs up. Now, lift them about one foot off the ground. This is to target the iliacus. If this is too much, just do one leg at a time. We're gonna do this six times, so you could do it six times on each side, or do it three times on each side, you decide, okay? Bring the legs down, relax. Squeeze the legs together, lift the legs up. And hold it there for two, three, four, five, six, and come on down. And relax. Bring the legs together, squeeze the thighs, turn the toes out, but then squeeze the thighs again and lift up. And hold it there for two, three, four, five. Are you squeezing the legs together? Keep them straight and then relax down. Oh, hallelujah. Only three more to go. Yahoo! <laughs> Bring the legs together, turn the toes out and lift the legs up. Good. Now you may feel your lower back arching a little bit. That's completely fine. You don't need to flatten it. Okay. We're really focusing on targeting the iliacus. Relax the legs down. The iliacus is inside the pelvic bone, inside the as is bone. So if you want, bring your thumbs there, bring your legs together, turn the toes out, squeeze the thighs 
and lift up and you'll feel that muscle contract. Very strong, very potent. Three, four, five, six, and relax down. We've just got one more to do. You ready? Bring the legs together, turn the toes out, lift up and hold two, three, four, five, six, and relax down. Beautiful. Bring your knees up or your feet up, turn over and come and sit back up. Cross your legs. What I often like to do is to invite people to just see if they can feel the difference in their body. From when we first started, maybe your body just felt a little heavy, a little clumsy, but now there's a certain amount of lightness. And especially with this pelvic reset, perhaps there's less pressure on your lower back. Perhaps there's more stability and more strength in your hips, your hip flexors, your hip extensors, and most importantly, your pelvic floor. So bring your hands to Namaste Mudra. Take a deep breath in. And just embody this stability. Embody this strength. Embody your core power. And feel that power, that strength, that stability flowing to all areas of your life. Namaste.